they don't even have a picture of this guy yet. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce his first name, but his surname is Majidov. Okay, this is a Azerbaijani heavyweight who Eddie Hearn has just signed. So now fighting on the zone. He just had his uh, first fight on the weekend, first professional fight. And some of you may remember him. I didn't recognize his surname right away, but as soon as I, I heard that he fought Anthony Joshua in Azerbaijan in the amateurs, I knew who he was. He fought him in, in fact, let me bring it up here. Here we go. Oh, hang on. What is this? Amateur boxing. Um, I'm not looking for the wiki highlights. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, in the World Amateur Championships in 2011, he fought Anthony Joshua in the final. Anthony Joshua beat Camarell, I think, in the semifinals of that tournament. And then fought uh, Majidov in the finals. And remember, this was in Azerbaijan in front of the Azerbaijani president and AJ lost by just one point. You can see it there, 22 to 21. So it was an extremely close fight. And I remember being quite impressed by Majidov's head movement against AJ. He was moving his head around and he had a very strong jab. I didn't get to see his first pro fight, but as you can see, he had an extensive amateur career. Uh, he lost to Camarell there in the 2012 Olympic Games in the semifinals. Uh, he lost to Ivan Ditchko in the 2016 Olympics, but he did have a win over Ditchko in the 2011 World Amateur Championships, the, the same championships that he fought Joshua in. He also beat Eris Landy Savon, the guy that virtually all of us believe beat Anthony Joshua in the first round of the 2012 Olympic Games. And he does also have a win over Roberto Camarell and another win over Ivan Ditchko. So he's lost to Ditchko once, but beat him at least twice. So yeah, a very, very good uh, amateur. And now turning over into the pro game, it says here, I didn't see these fights. But, uh, well, I saw the Joshua fight and a couple of others, but it says here that he dropped Eris Landy Savon heavily in the quarterfinals of the World uh, Boxing Championships in Azerbaijan, the same tournament where he fought uh, Anthony Joshua. So maybe I'll go and have a look at that, actually, because most of us, I think, rate Eris Landy Savon. And it's kind of a shame that he isn't turning professional, obviously, most Cuban fighters don't turn professional because Cuban uh, because professional boxing is still banned in Cuba, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, going to be interesting. If any of you did see his fight on the weekend, uh, drop a link if you can in the comment section below. If not, I'll keep I'll keep on looking for it, and let me know what you think about him. Is he a viable heavyweight contender? He's turned professional pretty late at 32 years old. But because he was such an experienced amateur, they can move him fast. And according to Eddie Hearn, his management team want to move him extremely fast. I think they want to have a couple of fights. Like uh, his first fight, he was a six rounder. I think then they want an eight or 10 rounder. And then after that, in his third or fourth fight, they're ready for anybody in the world. <laughs> That's apparently what they're saying. And uh, like I say, when you've got that kind of amateur background, you can do that. We saw Lomachenko do it. We saw Guillermo Rigondo do it. We saw Artur Baturbiev do something similar to that. You know, he had relatively few pro fights before he started, you know, fighting at world level. So let's see what Majidov can do. Drop your comments in the comment section below. It's something I'm out.